What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and we are officially in week number three, and the Jacksonville Jaguars are on primetime, their first and only primetime game of the season, and it's against the Miami Dolphins. The Jaguars are going to be playing the Dolphins with a 1-1 one one record, and the Jaguars are looking to capture their second win of the season, and it's going to be a battle between two of the sexiest quarterbacks in the league. And I'm here to talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is the Jacksonville Jaguars versus Miami Dolphins Thursday Night Football Week Number 3 Preview. So the Jaguars and the Dolphins are going to be playing each other on Thursday Night Football on the NFL Network. And the Jags again kind of got gypped on getting some primetime love. I'm not very surprised. This is usually how it goes. The Jaguars get their annual Thursday night game. Usually usually it's against the Titans, but of course, you know, they played the Titans last week and their other game against the Titans is not going to be on prime time. So they settled and it's going to be against the Dolphins. And it looks like Ryan Fitzmagic is going to be the quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. So I'm very, very excited to see Gardner Minshew against Ryan Fitzpatrick. Why? Because I love Ryan Fitzpatrick. You should love Ryan Fitzpatrick. Everybody should love Ryan Fitzpatrick. Everybody should love Gardner Minshew and Ryan Fitzpatrick. And everybody should hope that this game is a game where they both combine for 800 yards passing. Like That's just what we should hope for. I'm just kidding. But before I get into this and you know break everything down and what the Jaguars need to do to win... Just so you know, Dolphins fans, if you are watching this, I love Ryan Fitzpatrick and I wish him nothing but the best, but the Jaguars are favored in this game. I think this is going to be one of the only games that the Jaguars will be favored in. They might be favored next week against Cincinnati, but that also might be a game that the Jaguars will not be favored in. So that is already an edge. That's already something that the Jaguars, you know, have over the Dolphins. You know, usually the Jaguars are going to come into any game and they're going to be the underdog. This week, you know, this is a game that the Jaguars should win and hopefully should win by a lot, just judging by how this offense is playing and how these players are playing all together. And Gardner Minshew, last time he was on Thursday night, it was his second you know, appearance and his first full start um, against the Titans on Thursday night football. And you've seen how he played on primetime. And I think when the lights are on for Gardner Minshew, I think that's when he plays his best football. So, you know, he's going to be on national TV. He's going to be playing Miami. And I think this is where the offense really comes out. I mean, this is going to be all eyes on the Jaguars. And it should be a really great showcase of what this offense should do. And what I'm really hoping for is, you know, obviously offensive success. And I think that's a given in this game. I think the offense is going to perform really well against this Miami defense. I like the matchups across the board as far as who uh, is going to be matching up against these Jaguars wide receivers as far as Miami's secondary. I like how our offensive line matches up. And, you know, I hope James Robinson finds some holes and continues to develop and continues to be a excellent, excellent piece this Jacksonville Jaguar run game. But I really hope the defense really shows out. I hope this is a game where the, def- the defense is the main focal point where after this game the big topic of discussion is going to be how well this defense performed i would love to see joe schober miles jack cj henderson all of these defensive pieces have tremendous games against this miami dolphins this miami dolphin offense because you know no offense again to this dolphins team but nobody jumps out to me on this dolphins offense that is a big concerning you know player that these Jaguars should not be worried about. You know, the only thing that I'm worried about personally is that the Jaguars defense does do well and they have a big halftime lead and then Tua comes in and Tua somehow leads a comeback and then the Dolphins win on primetime because that would happen to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I swear if that gets clipped and it happens, then I called it and I jinxed it. Knock on wood, that doesn't happen. I'm sorry if that does and I just jinxed it there. But... I'm really expecting and I'm really hoping that this defense just puts it out of reach early. That's what I want. That's, you know, my key to victory for the Jaguars this week is just make sure that this game is won early. Don't let the Dolphins hang around. You know, the Jaguars, you know, are either on the receiving end of a blowout or in a close game or win close games. They are never really the hammer. You know, they're either the nail or they're in a nail biter. You know, so this game, 
let's be the hammer, let's beat the let's beat the Dolphins in, and let's get a blowout. You know, let's let's get some turnovers, let's get a defensive touchdown. Like let's make some plays that are gonna show up on the highlight reel, and you know have some plays that are going to build momentum into the next week when we play Cincinnati, which, you know, we're going to be going up against an exciting young quarterback in Joe Burrow. You know, let's let's put some things on tape that we should be excited about and what we should be proud of. You know, this is a game that I'm not too worried about as far as winning goes, but it's a game where I'm really, really hoping that, you know, the pieces that the Jaguars have on offense put points on the board, and the pieces that the Jaguars have on defense, you know, just show out, you know, this is a game where the Jaguars are the better team, and the Jaguars should prove that they are the better team, that's it, I mean, this is going to be a really short preview video for that reason, I mean, I can't remember the last time I've had a preview video like that, where just across the board for me, like, the Jaguars win every single matchup against the Dolphins for me, and I'm hoping... That they go out there, they prove it, they show it, they dominate, and the Jaguars, again, are the hammer, not the nail, and it's a blowout victory. The Jaguars go on primetime, the Jaguars go on Thursday Night Football, do their thing, dominate, win the game, and make sure that they have all the confidence in the world heading into next week. So, let's get the blowout victory, let's do the damn thing, Jaguars are going to be the Dolphins this week on Thursday Night Football. And that was my Jaguars versus Dolphins week number three preview. What'd you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel three days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.